we don't usually hear of you um, since um, you joined Kumasa Santi Koroko. How has it been from the start? How was the feeling like? Uh, it's a tough task, but we know we can do it. So all this while, that confidence was there. We know we can do it. So we were not down. Even when the times are hard, we encourage each other. We tap each other on the shoulder and say, hey, no, don't forget the reason why we are here. We can still do it. And this is the result. Now, we've, saw, we've seen so many good players, I mean, from, from Kotoko. But let's talk about the recruitment. You did an amazing job bringing in some young, talented players. But the bonding and, and how to infuse them to play as a team, how was it like? And, and what exactly did the technical team, you know, do that time to make sure the players play at the highest level? You know, the trend has changed now. It's not like before. This day, I always tell my colleagues that football is for the young and energetic men. Okay. But whilst it's for the young, you also need some sort of experience in the team so that when the young ones are tired or they are getting it difficult, those ones can encourage them and carry them on. So that was what we did. We try and fuse the young with the old. We've seen you always having a tactical board around, trying to have a pep talk with the players. And we've also seen you around Prospanate Ogum when the going gets really tough. During the season, at what point in time you felt like, look, maybe we're not going to win the league? It has never crossed me. <laughs> yes, <laughs> because I was so confident that we're going to win. And if you ask my boss, he will tell you. I always, when I go to him, when things are difficult, I go to him, the first thing I tell him is, Doc, don't lose, don't lose hope. We are winning this match. We are winning the league. I mean, these were young players. They've won themselves the Ghana Premier League. But you being the second in command in terms of the technical bench, what exactly did you do to make sure they are focused, they are really in shape, always almost on point, trying to grind results? Dude, Doc is amazing. Anytime we are in a difficult position. I don't know how he does it, but he finds a way to motivate these guys. Sometimes I'm surprised. With our backing too, I think it works very well. The whole Ghana is watching you. I want you to tell the whole Ghana and the whole world how Kotoko managed to win this league from the hands of Hearts of Folk. <laughs> First, is the hard work. Uh, we did a tremendous work in Dubai, and we learned a lot in Dubai. And when we came here, to, we always tell the boys to have that fit, that confidence that we are going to win this league. And that is what worked for us. How has the feeling been after winning the, the league for yourself? Oh, for myself, <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, it's like I'm overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. So yesterday, when they were jubilating, I was sitting at a corner, just smiling and laughing. <laughs> Amazing. You, you won't leave us, but again, we want to get to you, your, from your side, the best five Kotoko players. This is the coach has given his um, five best players. What is your first five players, the best ones for Kotoko this season? This season. Muru is my number one. Okay. Sheriff. Agadas. It's three, huh? Yeah, you're left with two. Muru, Agadas, Sheriff, Mbella, and George. Fantastic. Coach, we are grateful.